when I looked at them through the night vision, you know, when a cat's kind of like in the grass in your yard, stalking a bird, it'll take a couple steps and then stop and its tail will move. And it'll take a couple steps and stop in its tail. That's how they moved. They like moved, like animated, like claymation. And then they stopped and froze. Nothing in the show should be considered legal, medical, or financial advice. The views of the callers can differ considerably and do not necessarily reflect my opinion, Dex's opinion, or anyone else who works with the show. You should always do your own research and consult with professionals. The internet is full of fake news, so please take everything with a grain of salt. If you do not have a virtual private network, it protects your IP address, which is your online identity. If you know anything about how they are data logging and basically getting your profiles down, you can prevent that by having a VPN. Nord is, again, one of the easiest. Go to Marfugal news.com slash vpn not only will you get a giant discount on this but you will also be helping us uh let's go to josh josh you are live on marfugal news hey how's it going adam thanks for taking my call hey nice to talk to you so uh what did you want to talk about tonight you had you had something on uh you recently saw something i'll leave it at that yeah it was strange um i'm not one to talk about things I see since I worked for the military for 17 years. So I'm pretty closed lipped about things and I don't really believe too many things unless I experience them. But last week, me and my buddy of 30 years, we raised our kids together. We're, we're up in the mountains, North of Las Vegas, um, a place called dead horse Ridge. Like, um, we were up there and we've been going there since I think like 1997 or 98. And we um, have a little campsite and a campfire where we raised our kids going out there. You know, they'd be catching lizards and making little bows and arrows they throw around and rocks and whatnot. And um, it's just past the um, wildlife viewing center. Um, just northwest of Las Vegas, and it's on the edge of um, the testing facility for the Air Force. It looks a lot like about, uh, like Yellowstone. It's beautiful. The pictures I'm seeing. Yeah, it's it's quite different than Las Vegas. You know, with the desert, there's actually trees up there and snow on the top of the mountain peaks, and uh, it's really cool. So, me being born and raised in Vegas, I know where a lot of the cool spots are. So that's where we'd go, especially having kids, you know, you can't just camp out in the middle of the desert. You got to be somewhere with little coverage from the sun and whatever. But me and my buddy, we were up there and we don't drink or do any drugs. Unfortunately, we're boring. And um, we're just sitting there listening to Frank Sinatra really low. And I had my tablet on a tripod and he's facing me, which he's facing West. And I'm facing him, facing east, and we got our tailgates open to both our trucks. We we both drove our personal trucks up there. And while we were sitting there, I saw like a flash of light, almost like a camera flash. You know, back in the day, when you just have a camera, you just take a picture and it flashes. And I, was, and I didn't think nothing of it. I thought, oh, that was weird. And then I saw it again. And then so I said to him, I was like, hey, did you see that flash? Like someone coming up the dirt road because he's facing the road, which is facing um, Area 51. There's like a fence there. It says, you know, don't go over there. And you know, it's a restricted area. And the other side is Dead Horse Ridge. It's uh, Nevada Department of Wildlife and BLM land. There's cabins. You can go up there and whatever. And uh, he's like, no, I didn't see anything. And then a uh, little bit of time goes by and I see see this flash indiscriminately like i'd say every 12 to 15 minutes and i was like wow it's really strange so then around 11 o'clock that night while i was talking to him my tablet screen is on is facing me and on the screen of the, it's off mind you it's just off it's just sitting there and um on the screen i could see the reflection of something blue green it was weird so I turned around real fast and he jumped up and the ground lit up. Um, you could see the shadows on the trees and even this, the bushes right there. It was so bright, like a shooting star almost, if you will. And um, 
it lasted for a couple seconds and it was so intensely bright that like literally I could see the definition on the ground of the shadows move from the trees because it was make it was casting shadows from its light. It was above us. And it wasn't shooting across the sky at a thousand miles per hour. It was kind of like floating like a fast balloon, if you will. It was very weird. And um I went and I grabbed my night vision. I have one of those uh sight mark HD night vision scopes. And I um grabbed it and I'm looking like towards the restricted area now instead of east I'm looking west and my buddy's looking and um on the road coming up to where we are I could see uh a couple people which was really weird because no one was out there and you can see cars for miles and miles where we're at so we couldn't hear them couldn't see them and I seen a couple guys down there on the clearing of the dirt road and so I started zooming in on them with my night vision and I turned my infrared illuminator on and I could see that it was two guys and, and I hate to say it, but it was, it was very weird. And so I told my buddy, I was like, man, something, I think the ranger or somebody's coming up here, which is weird why they didn't just drive up here. Why would they walk? And so he wanted to look through my night vision. And I let him and I went to my truck and I, Grabbed some protection, if you will. I don't want to say what I grabbed, but I got some protection because it kind of made me nervous. It's dark, it's late, and nobody should be walking up a dirt road, especially with no flashlights um, or any type of light. Unless it's some sort and of then, cult uh, thing, it was, right? It, it, either way, it's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really creepy. That's what freaked me out is like they didn't have any flashlights. Um and they're walking up a dirt road towards us in the middle of nowhere, literally two hours out on this dirt road up in the mountains, which is very unheard of. Like I'm 50 years old. I've been going out there. I've never had that happen ever. Um, and you're not allowed to ride dirt bikes out there because it's a wildlife area. So it was very strange. Um, so I grabbed my protection and uh, he's looking through the scope and he kind of starts freaking out and panicking and telling me to be quiet, not to even walk because just walking on the gravel was making noisy. And he, he's not one to freak out. He really doesn't care about too much. So that drew my adrenaline up a little notch or two, you know. And I was like, well, what do you see? He's like, don't move, don't move, just be quiet. You know, one of those things. And I'm like, what's this? What's, what's he doing? So, uh let me let me ask you this. He's like, okay, continue. Do, do you, you know that there were other sightings in Las Vegas, right? That one person said that they saw an eight foot nine foot person and got video of it. When what was the time frame? Yeah, on that's this? why. I'm, within like two hours of when we seen it, so that's why I was calling you because I I wasn't going to ever tell anyone this. I could care less. I've seen thousands of lights in the sky and. Um, ricochets from bullets when I was in combat, things that are just weird, you know, even hell Apache shooting machine guns at night, they look like laser beams. I've seen so many things. Navy SEALs swimming in the ocean back to back with their flashlights on look like a round saucer. I mean, I've seen so many things that were all practical, you know, but they, at first glance, you would think, oh, it's a UFO, but it's just a Navy SEAL with lights back to back in the ocean. And so I, I never wanted to get too excited about stuff, but my buddy was definitely excited and he's the one who called me yesterday and he's like bro you're never going to believe this like you got it he sent me a link to the local news and they on the local news they have the our metro police with body cam and it was the same exact colored light this bluish greenish light that we saw and then these guys got some crazy story that there were like these eight or nine foot tall naked creatures in their backyards which sounds ridiculous <laughs> but i'm telling you adam that's exactly what we saw on the dirt road. Um, my friend is the one who actually was like, hey, bro, they don't have clothes on. And I was like, what? Like, I was thinking, what are they, like on drugs or something? You know, you're out in the middle of the mountains with no clothes on? I did not think for one second alien ever. Like, I never connected the meteor or whatever it was we saw with what was on the road, if that makes sense, you know? But when I saw them, 
through the scope before I handed it to my buddy. And this is no joke. One of them, it seemed like looked right at me through the scope. And when it did for that second, I was frozen. I was like, I, the hair on the back of my neck stood up, man, I'm not scared. Like there's nothing to be scared out of here. We, there's nothing out here, but lizards and, and, you know, mountain sheep and it, wild horses. There's no, you know, bears or nothing crazy that'll get you. I'm not scared of anything in the dark. Trust me. But for one split second, when the one, one of them, like, it seemed like he looked right at me. And when he did, I was like frozen with only my thoughts. And that's when I handed him the scope and went to the back of my truck and grabbed my, my uh, protection. And then he started panicking, which made me panic even more because I'm usually the one out of the group that gets excited about stuff, you know, cause we were in a rock band. We drive all over the West coast playing shows and I'd see stuff in the middle of the night, big birds flying at night. I'm like, what the hell's a bird doing out at night? Only owls come out at night, you know? And I'm like, what was that? But uh, yeah, it was weird. And the news, kind of connected what we saw and we're talking about for the rest of the night. I stayed up till the sun came up. That's how traumatizing it was. Like I did not want to go to sleep. I stayed up all night. Um, my adrenaline was pumping. And then when he sent me the link to the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police, and then they show, if you watch on YouTube, they have the interview with the family and they say, yeah, that they saw a greenish bluish light, that there were two naked creatures they said they were aliens you know i didn't want to go that far um but it kind of made me second guess what i saw and i just wanted to share it with you um you got a, lot, a great show and a lot of good topics and this isn't one that i really gravitate towards i'm more on current events and the military stuff but this really happened so you know um i just wanted to share it with you guys and i'm not saying it was an alien i'm not saying anything um i'm just telling you they look tall really tall you hear that aliens are really short these guys look really tall i couldn't tell you how tall but they were slender and 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 very tall and really scary looking through my night vision enough for me to grab protection and they were in the middle of the desert in the middle of the mountains in the middle of the night with no light but josh josh i I think that many people here can feel like when you describe this it one thing is, is it, it, I don't know, it, to me, it's, it, it sounds like you're reliving that moment. You can tell when, like you, every part of it. So that is, it's really freaky. My, the hairs on my arm went up when you said that you looked through and they were walking. Um, that the light coming out of the forest, I actually showed kind of a reference photo. Um, we all think about that when we're in, I think about that when I'm in the forest of, something, you know, dropping down between the trees, kind of a, uh, you know, something just landing right 50 feet away. I've, you've seen this in, in so many kind of science fiction things for it to happen in real life. That's pretty scary. I was just going to tell you one other thing that was very strange that when I looked at them through the night vision, you know, when a cat's kind of like in the grass in your yard, stalking a bird, It'll take a couple steps and then stop and its tail will move and it'll take a couple steps and stop in its tail. That's how they moved. They like moved like animated, like claymation. And then they stopped and froze and then they took a couple more. It was so freaky. That's why I got freaked out. I was like, man, this is weird. So I just wanted to share that other detail because that was very, that was something I noticed. It was like almost like stop and go animation type thing. Josh, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing again. Thank you, Josh. And I uh, update us if you find anything else out. And uh, Josh, you have a wonderful night. You too. All right. God bless you and the Fugle fam. All right. Thank you, Josh. That was awesome. B- bye bye. If you have a call like Josh, don't leave us out. Make sure to go over and check out marfuglenews.com slash EMP. Um, just want to reiterate somebody said that, you know, oh, can you really do this in 10 minutes? Uh, EMP Shield is a device that you can actually wire in just to show you how easy this is. Uh, if you've ever looked under your car hood and looked at your battery, the black, that straps to the black. The red straps to the red. And the green it does to the frame. So that's how easy it is. That's how long it takes. It, you have to basically hook these up to three different spots and you are done. So this is an EMP Shield that can protect you against electromagnetic pulse. 
and I believe it will save lives. This is something that every prepper should have on their vehicles. Uh, make sure to check if your vehicle needs one. There's a, a ton, a lot of vehicles that will. Uh, there's many vehicles that if an EMP or a CME strikes, then they will be basically be dead in the water. Uh, you can't even press the gas without the uh, the digital part of it telling it to push the gas. So again, make sure to go check this out. That's the micro that can fit into almost anything. It's got the same protection. And of course, it has this uh, uh, much, much smaller size. Go to marfuglenews.com slash EMP. You can use the code MARF or just use that link. Uh, that link will do it automatically. It can work in cars, trucks, uh, generators, solar systems, RVs, of course, boats. Uh, you can even use it on your ham radio. There's tons of different devices for pretty much anything that you want to protect. Go to marfuglenews.com slash EMP to get $50 off and to support our independent news. We're on our own. Again, the stuff that we cover, everything that we do. Again, we don't have a team. We don't have a multi-channel network protecting us. If we say something, you get knocked off. We pay for the lawyers to get back on. Uh, we basically have to do everything on our own. So we appreciate. Uh, that's why we pick affiliates that we believe will not only protect you, save your life, or make your life more convenient during a, a disaster. When you go to get this, not only are you getting a discount, but you can uh, feel good that you're supporting your favorite channel and doing so while getting a huge discount. Go to marfuglenews.com slash EMP. This is the same company that's outfitting DHS, DOD, and it, uh, and of course now they're on the Demso team helping protect the Texas uh, grid. Looking outside of my window, seeing a crescendo. I'm not going out there where apocalypse runs. Looking outside of my window, 